Hello guys, this is Dapson Ishmael. Today I'm going to show you how to create some kind of cool slider using event in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So this is what I mean. This is um, uh, a page I have in here. This is a single page whereby when I click on this, it slides for me to have some kind of information. When I click on this one also, it slides um, the second um, layer out and this gives me some kind of information as well as when I click on this one. When I come to the first one, the first one comes back here. So I'm going to show you how to do this. This one was achieved using events in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I'm going to go ahead to open my WYSIWYG Web Builder and I'll show you how to go about this. So I have here opened my WYSIWYG Web Builder. I'm going to go ahead to my toolbox and create a layer. So I'll come to the advanced section of tools. I'll draw on an empty space here and uh, let me just first of all move my ruler to about this position let's say um, 100 let me just make this 100 um, okay here we go so I'm going to move this layer to 4 and here I'm going to change the width of this layer particular layer to about let's say 900 pixels let me go ahead and take away the border I have in here so under border and styles I'll just switch this to none and take this I'll make this zero I'll come back here and alignment I'll change it to center and I'll go ahead and click on OK let me go ahead and change um, the height of my layer here to about 590 pixels so I'll go ahead and make this about 590 pixels I'll go ahead and click on OK so um, here we go and um, what I'm going to do next is to have some form of test in here so I'll come back to my toolbox this time around I'll come to standard click on test and um, I'll draw in here so the title I'm going to give to this is going to be first layer. I'll go ahead and um, highlight my test here and I'm going to change the size to about um, 24 pixels. So let me just make this 24 pixels and make it bold as well. So I'll position that here and I'll go ahead to make a copy of this particular um, test I have here. So I'll copy this, I'll use Ctrl V to paste it here. Let me move it here and this time around I'm going to change the size to back to about um, 11 pixels and uh, let me just expand the width of this test I'll go ahead to take away the board I have here and I'm going to populate some kind of test in here so I'm going to use the lorem ipsum for about um, four paragraphs to have some test in here let me just switch this to about um, three paragraphs let me just make this three paragraphs and I'll take um, I'm going to bring some image here. So I'm going to copy an image in a project I have opened and I'm going to paste that image here. So let me just paste this here. Let me make sure it is positioned in the center of the layer I have here. So here we go. And um, the next I'm going to do is to make another copy of this layer. So I'm going to copy this one. So using Ctrl C, I'm going to copy this layer and I'm going to paste it at the bottom here. Let me just paste it here and change this um, test to um, second layer. So I'll make this second layer. Let me go ahead and expand this a little bit. I'll maintain the test I have in here. I'll get rid of this image and I'm going to copy my second image I'll be using for that one. So uh, let me just copy my image from another project I have open here. So I'll reduce the size of this test a little bit to about this section. I'll go ahead and paste my image in here and I'll make sure it is positioned in my layer. So I'll go ahead and make sure it is positioned in the center as well. Next, I'll copy this layer so using Ctrl C. I'll copy it and I'll paste it at the bottom here. So I'll paste this here and I'm going to change this to third layer. This is going to be third layer. And um, what I'm going to do next is to expand my test I have in here. So I'll get rid of this particular image and I'm going to add some test to this test I have in here. So I'll copy this one. I'll go ahead and uh, let me just hit on enter and um, paste that here. I'll make a final copy of my layer here and I'm going to paste it at the bottom. So here we go. Let me just move this to this particular position and I'll go ahead and change um, this to, let's say, fourth layer. So fourth layer. When done, I'll come back to the top and I'm going to create some buttons in here. Before creating my buttons, let me create my um, header test here. So I'm going to um, put this here. Let me expand this a little bit and move this to this particular section and change this to let's say the slider so i'm going to change this to the slider and i'll go ahead to change the color of it to let me just make this um red in here now i'll come back to my toolbox this time around i'm going to go to um, drawings under drawings i'm going to locate shape so i'll draw in here 
and um, let me just um, change the size of this particular button I've got in here. So this is going to be 95 by 28 pixels. So this is 95 by 28 pixels. I'll go ahead and double click on it and I'm going to change the type to rounded um, edge. I'm going to make this about 6 pixels and um, I'll come here to test. So the test, let me just make the background black and I'll change the color of my test to be white. I'll go ahead and change the font size to 9 and I'll type in here that is first button. So let me make this first button. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now let me uh, make another copy of it. So using Ctrl C, I'll copy it and I'll paste it in here. Let me move it some few pixels away from the first one. Double click on this, come to test and I'll make this second button. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. Let me expand this a little bit. Let me paste the button I copied once more. This is going to be third button. So let me come to test and uh, I'll change this to third button. I'll go ahead and click on OK. And uh, let me just hi highlight and um, this uh, buttons I have in here. So let me move it to this particular section. I'll go ahead and paste the last one here. So I'll paste this one here and I'm going to make this um, fourth button. So let me just change the first button to fourth button. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to go ahead to select all my buttons and um, let me move them some few pixels away to the right hand side. Let me move it a little bit to the bottom to hit this particular edge I have in here. So I'm done. What I'm going to do next is to rename my layer as well as my buttons here. So this I'm going to come to my property inspector. I'm going to change this to layer um, 1. I'll go ahead and change this to layer 2. I'll scroll down and change this to layer 3. Now I'll come back here and um, change this to layer 4. When done, I'll come back to my buttons and I'm going to change this to um, button 1. I'll change this to button 2. I'll go ahead and change this to button 3. And I'll change this to button 4. So now I'm done. What I'm going to do next is to apply some form of events to control my layers I have here. So I'll first start by double clicking on this particular um, button I have here. I'll switch to event. Before going to um, event, that is event, I'll come to publish and change this to uh, CSS3. Instead of publishing as image, I want to publish them as CSS3. After doing that, I'll come back to my test and add a pattern of two pixels. So I'll apply that to all my buttons I have here. So this is going to be published as CSS3 and I'm going to change this to 2 pixels. Uh, apply that to this one also. So let me make this CSS3. This is going to be 2 pixels. Um, come back to test, 2 pixels and I'll apply it to this particular layer here. I'll come to publish and make this CSS3 and the test. Uh, this is the pattern is going to be two pixels. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. So when done, I'll come back to my first button and this time around, I'm going to go to event. So I'll click on add. And what I'm going to do here is um, under event, I'm going to leave this on click. Now what I'm going to select here at the action is going to be. So when I click on this particular layer, what should happen? That is, it should show with effect. So show it with effect. I should um, show this particular layer. That's the first layer I have here. So I'm going to go ahead and select layer one. What is going to be the effect? So the effect is going to be slide right. So that is if I click on this particular button I have here, that's the first button. I should slide this layer to the right hand side. And the easing is going to be, let me just select um, J swing. Uh, let me, okay, let me just make the easing linear. Let me just change this to linear. I'll go ahead and change, uh, okay, I'll maintain the length. So that is the first um, event I have created. Now I'm going to go ahead, let me expand this a little bit, expand this as well a little bit. And so I'll go ahead and create um, the second one. So on click, when I click on this particular first button, what should happen to the rest of um, the layers I have here? So the next one is going to be hide with effect. So let me select hide with effect. And the target is going to be um, the second layer, so layer two. This time around, this is going to slide left. And um, this is going to be linear, so I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now create for the next one. When I click on this particular button, what should happen? So it's um, it's going to hide the third layer. 
as well. So I'll select layer three. This is going to be um, slide left and this is going to be linear. So I'll go ahead and click on OK and I'll add it one more time for the fourth layer. So hydrate effect, the fourth layer, layer four. I'll go ahead and um, this is going to be linear. This is going to be um, slide left. I'll go ahead and click on OK and um, click on OK. Now come to my second button. So when I click on second button and I event, I'll click on add and on click this one this time around this is going to show which effect that is layer um two so layer two this is going to be slide right as well then um this is going to be linear I'll go ahead and click on okay and when i click on um the button two i should hide the first layer so hide with effect layer one i'll go ahead and change this to slide um left and let me click on okay let me make sure this is slide right okay so this is slide right now I'll go ahead and click on add and um, hide with effect again this time around this is layer three this is going to be slide left this is going to be linear I'll click on OK now add the last one this one is going to be hide with effect this is going to be layer four and I'll go ahead and change this to slide left so I'll go ahead and click on OK and click on OK now I'll come to the third button this time around this one is going to be um, so the first one is going to be show with effect and the show it effect is going to be layer three so i'll make this layer three this is going to be slide right click on ok now add it again and this time around this is going to be hydrate effect this is going to be layer one so this is going to be slide left and i'll click on ok i'll add it again and this time around going to be hydrate effect um layer four so this is going to be uh, okay so we have layer one let me go to layer two let me change this to slide left and I'll click on OK. Let me add it one more time. And this is going to be for layer four. So I'll go ahead and select layer four. I'll change this to slide left. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm done here. I'll come back to the fourth button. And this time around, I'll come to event. I'll click on add. So when I unclick, this is going to be show with effect. And I'm going to change this to layer four. So this is going to be layer four. And I'm going to change this to slide right click on OK and I'll add again so when I click on it it's going to hide the first layer so layer one this is going to be slide left I'll go ahead and click on OK I'll add this is going to be hydrate effect layer two so layer two I'm going to um, slide left I'll go ahead and click on OK and I'll add it one more time this is going to be hydrate effect and this is going to be layer three so I'll select layer three and change this to um, slide left i'll go ahead and click on ok and click on ok so what i'm going to do next is to first of all hide this particular layer so um let me just open my object manager and um as you can see i have my layers over here so i'm going to go ahead to move um this layers to the uh back so i'll first start by moving this particular layer to the back so i'll right click on it and i'll come to move to back so i'll select this one also right click on it move to back and I'll select this one, right click on it, move to back, and I'll um, select the last one, right click on it, and select move to back. So I still have my, I did that just to be sure that I have my um, layers arranged in um, order. So this is the first layer. Let me just do something and see. Okay, looks like it's inside the back. Let me, rather, instead of doing it this way, let me right click on this one, move this to the back, and uh, right click on this one, move this one to the back, and uh, Right click on this one, move this to the back, and um, right click on this one, move this to the back. So it's over here, looks like it's arranged in a, in a descending order. But when we try to put this over this, this one um, takes control over this. So that is, how, that is how we are supposed to arrange our layers in our um, page. So what I'm going to do next is I'll come to my first layer, I'll click on it, and I'm going to hide it. And I'm going to move my second layer to this position. So to the position of the first layer making sure it hits this particular layer button here i'm going to hide that as well and i'm going to bring my third layer to the same position so i'm going to bring this layer to the same position um let me just right click on it and make sure this is positioned in the center and uh, i'll hide that one as well and i'm going to bring uh, my fourth layer also here so i'm going to bring my fourth layer here uh, let me just move it here Make sure it is positioned in the center of the page and i'm going to hide that as well now let me uh, make sure my 
second layer is also positioned in the center of the page so right click on it and i'll hide that now i'll come back and um make sure my first layer is visible so i right click on it and make sure it is positioned in the center of my page now before going to preview this let me first um hide my object manager i'll go ahead and right click on an empty space in my canvas come to page properties and i'm going to change the alignment to center so this is going to be center horizontally i'll go ahead and click on ok now i want to create have some form of space in here so that the layer doesn't hit the bottom edge of my browser window so i'll come to toolbox and i'll just um come to let's say i'll take line let me just put some form of line let me just get rid of this particular line and um, take something else so i'll come to standard and i'm going to use the horizontal line i have here so i'll draw here and uh, let me just make sure this is positioned in the center of the page i can decide to take away the color so that it doesn't become visible so let me change the color of this to let's say white so that it's best the same color as the background of my page now i'm done i'm going to go ahead to preview this in my browser so i'll hit on the preview button and um, let's wait a while it loads in our browser window so here we go so we have our um, sliders here so now when i click on the second slider as you can see slides to the second one when i click on the third one it slides to the third one and the fourth one it slides to the fourth one now when i click on the first one i still have my first one back and the second one so this is how to add this particular form of slider using event in wizard web builder thank you very much for watching bye for now